The encoding procedures we have discussed work well on categorical data with a manageable number of categories. However, using one-hot encoding for a variable with thousands of categories will create a thousand or more new columns, and will be complicated even if you combine similar categories based on contextual information. Let's discuss data-driven approaches to reducing the space of categorical variables and creating meaningful features. Let's take a look at the education level variable from the adult underscore incomes dataset. There are 16 distinct categories we want to incorporate into our model that predicts income levels above or below $50,000. We want to reduce these categories in a meaningful way, leveraging the outcomes associated with these levels. One approach is to look at the proportions of each category with respect to the income, which is the outcome variable. In this example, we can combine prop.table with the table function. The prop.table function takes a table with cells and divides each cell value by the sum of all the cells. If you add a 1 after the table, you get the value of each cell divided by the sum of the row cells. In our example, we want the proportion of income within each grade, which is the row sum. These proportions give us insights into possible relationships the categories have with the outcome. For example, we can deduce that lower grade levels are associated with making less than $50,000 in a calendar year. For example, of the folks that only completed the 10th grade, about 93% of those individuals make less than $50K a year. We order the proportions that correspond to making over $50,000 a year using the arrange function and passing a table that contains the education span, income, and the corresponding proportions. We can leverage this information to create meaningful categories. For example, we can group categories with similar proportions of making over $50,000 a year into three ordered proportion ranges, with low education from 0 to 10%, medium education from 10 to 30%, and high education containing the rest from 30 to 100%. We can attach this ad hoc information to our existing income data by using inner underscore join and attaching the proportions table results with the proportion mappings for each grade level category. An inner join takes two data frames and only combines records that have the same link, discarding records with no links from either table. The link is specified using the by statement. In our example, we are linking education from the adult incomes table with ed underscore span from our proportions table. We now have the proportions associated with our education levels to map on our desired low, medium, and high education range categories. We create a new column containing the new mappings where the low education category contains eight categories from preschool to 12th grade. The medium category contains four categories after graduating high school, and the high education level contains a bachelor's degree and more. Now it's your turn. Let's 